The Essential Mod is an amazing mod that's primary feature, in my opinion, is hosting single player worlds and inviting friends to join them. So you can invite your friends to join on your single player worlds and play Minecraft with them as long as you have them added on the Essential Mod and they have the Essential Mod installed as well. So if you want to use this, you'll need to send them this video. That way they can get the Essential Mod set up as well. Now, there's other cool things. You can customize your character using their shop that does support the mod. You can easily share screenshots and other things, including actually uh, send messages across servers. It's kind of cool, but overall, the main feature is going to be that inviting your friends to play in your single player worlds. To do this, go ahead and go to the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. Click on the download button, They'll take you to Essentials official download page where you want to download the Fabric version. You can also use this mod with Forge. It doesn't matter which one you use, but we're going to be using Fabric in this video. Go ahead and click MC119.3 and the Fabric Essentials version will start downloading in the bottom left. You may need to keep or save the Essentials file depending on your browser. Now we need to also download Fabric. Luckily, we have an in-depth guide in the description down below that goes over everything you need to know to get Fabric. However, we're going to be going over the basics in this video. Should you have issues though, come back here and check this out. It will help you get Fabric up and running. Now let's just go and click Download Fabric and it will take you to the official Fabric Downloader here where we want to click on the Download Universal Jar option. Now you may be wondering why we're we doing that instead of the download for Windows because if you download the Universal Jar not only will Fabric work but other Minecraft mod installers, servers, all that stuff will work correctly. So let's go ahead and click the Download Universal Jar there. Now while that's downloading, how about us for a sponsor Apex Minecraft Hosting? Now sure the Essential Mod allows you to play with your friends on your single player worlds but what if you want to add plugins or play with a lot of different mods. Well, in those cases, it's best to use a dedicated Minecraft server from someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting. At Apex, you can add mods, you can add plugins, you can do anything you want. You can even make your server public or private depending on what you want to do with it, and you can customize it to your heart's content. Apex has 24 hours, 7 day a week live chat support should you have any issues. And we love and trust Apex so much we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, as you can see, Fabric is downloaded. You again may need to keep or save that file depending on your browser. Let's go ahead and minimize this here. And what we want to do is move these files, Fabric and Essential, to our desktop. To do that, you want to locate your downloads folder. And for me, I'm going to click the top left icon, that little Windows icon on the top left. For you, it might be in the bottom left or in the bottom center of your screen. That's going to open up the Start menu. Here, you can type in Downloads. Now, you may have a Downloads folder to select. If not, go into File Explorer. Then, what you want to do is come on the left-hand side, scroll down to This PC, and then click on the Downloads folder here. And there you can see Fabric and Essential. We're going to drag these to our desktop for ease of use. Now to get started, we're actually going to be working with Fabric. To do that, right click on Fabric, click Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java or your icons don't look like mine, what you want to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Essential, but also Minecraft servers and so much more to do with Minecraft Java Edition. Luckily, we have an in-depth guide in the description that goes over everything you need to know. This is the most in-depth Java guide for Minecraft out there, guaranteed. So go through it, get everything up and running. We have troubleshooting issues, all of that stuff. It's pretty simple, and we even have a video if you prefer that. You might also need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. So if you have any issues or anything like that after getting Java 17 with your icon still being weird or not being able to open up the Fabric installer, run the jar fix and that's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. With that though, we can actually get Fabric installed. To do this, right click on the Fabric installer, click on open with, click Java and click OK. That'll open up the Fabric installer where you want to make sure that the correct version of Minecraft is selected. In our case, that's 1.19.3. And then you want to make sure this creates profile box is checked. Finally, click install. Now, the only reason that you won't get this successful message here is if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before. If that's the case, come go play it, come back, and then this will work. And also, you want to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are both closed. Otherwise, you can have issues either with this not being successfully installed or with it saying it's successfully installed and it actually not being. For example, you won't have it in the Minecraft launcher. If that is the case, close out all of those, close out of Fabric, the installer here, reopen the installer, and then just click that install button again. But nonetheless, we can now install Essential. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here, and you should have in the Minecraft launcher a Fabric profile, right? That's why we made sure that Create Profile box was checked. Now, for me, I know I will have one. As you can see, there it is. It's automatically selected. But no matter what, you want to go up to the Installations tab up here at the top. Now, as you can see, we have this Fabric Loader 119.3. Now, if you don't have this, you want to make sure that Modded is selected. 
if you select modded, there it is. But if you still don't have Fabric Loader 119.3, click new installations. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it the Essential Mod 1.19.3. And then our version, we want to go ahead and select Release Fabric Loader 119.3, right like so. Click it there. It may be at the top for you. I've actually seen it at the bottom and even at random places in between. So if it's not at the top, go ahead and scroll through there. You'll most likely find it. I'm also going to set my resolution. That's just so you can see once we get in game. Finally, though, we can click create. And now we have this essential mod 119.3 profile with the fabric loader 1.19.3 under it. That's the most important part. Now, with that being said, we do want to install essential before we even open up Minecraft because why not? To do this, you want to go ahead and hover over either the fabric loader profile that that was already there or the one that you created. It literally does not matter which one you use and click the folder icon that appears. That's going to open up your Minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, neither do I. And if you don't, just right click, create a new folder and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your newly created mods folder and drag and drop essential into your mods folder right like so. It's that easy to get this mod installed. Now when we come back to Minecraft, we always want to make sure that we're either playing with the fabric loader or with the fabric installation we created. It doesn't matter which, just click play on it, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open with the essential mod installed. Let's check it out once we're on the main menu. So here we are, because I've used the essential mod before, I do have this uh, update you know, warning here, not warning, but just letting me know that it has been updated. You may not have this. If you don't, that's fine. But here we are on the essential mod. Now, as we can see in the top left, we have my username. We can access the wardrobe if you were to, yes, we want to agree to their terms of service there. I meet all of those. But if you wanted to access the wardrobe, this is where you can purchase different things to support the mod. And then on the right-hand side, we have social. Now, this is where we can actually go in here, see the announcements, but see our friends. And friends are where we actually want to go in and be able to play with other people who have also added us as friends. Now I have these random friend requests here. I could accept these and then these people could invite me, but I've also got my alt over here and that is already on my friends list. I could remove them and if they were online and invited me, I could join their game as well. We have an in-depth guide on how to do that if you want to check out the video on your screen right now or at the end of this video, but it is worth noting that that is possible. Like I said though, that's the main benefit of the essential mod actually really cool is if we go into this single player world here we'll be able to hit escape and we'll be able to invite our friends directly from there so if we go ahead and hit escape we can see on the right hand side we have this invite button do you want to do this we can proceed and then you can invite people by for example clicking there they're offline so they don't really get the invite but you get the idea now it is worth noting here that this does show your IP address to anyone you invite so you want to make sure that you're only inviting people that you trust and if you want a public server of course use apex Additionally, mod support, plugin support, things like that is a lot more difficult, if not impossible, to do sustainably with the Essential Mod. And for that reason, I do recommend Apex if you're interested in either of those. But nevertheless, that's how you can quickly get the Essential Mod in 119.3 and start playing with your friends. And it really just is as simple as going into social, clicking the plus icon to add your friend. Once they have been added and they also have the Essential Mod installed, they'll get that notification. They can add you and then you just come over here and invite them once you're in game. Boom. Simple as that. But no less, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. If you do have any issues with this video, be sure to join our community support discord. Link in the description down below, and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.